Good morning, you guys. I just made a smoothie to kind of get me going today. Today, I decided to do a green smoothie. Um, but in reality, it's just spinach, pineapple, and mango with some water. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys saw, I just got back from a walk with my dog. We walked for a mile and then I came back, showered. I made a smoothie right before um, I got in the shower and I just sat here and kind of enjoyed it while I cooled off. And then I showered and did my hair and kind of like cleaned up a little bit because I haven't done my makeup or anything like that. So I thought I'd do it today just for fun. And then um, right now I'm just gonna sit here and start studying. I have a lot of studying to do because finals start next week. So there's gonna be a lot of homework and a lot of studying in this vlog. So I hope you guys are interested in that. Um, I'm also gonna show you how I outline for property. Today is going to be a full day of property. So I'll be doing that. And then I do have some classes. So I do have to get on Zoom for a class. So yeah, today's gonna be a pretty busy day. So I hope you guys are interested in seeing all that. Um, I hope you guys stick around and subscribe and as always leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it or if there's something you'd like to see Make sure you guys comment down below Cut up some mango for a snack, so that's what I'm about to have I just want to say that it's always the best feeling when you think you don't have an outline done for a class or you haven't started one and in reality, you do have one. Um, of course, it might need some work, but it's really nice to know I have the beginning of the semester already done here. So I'm pretty sure I showed y'all how I outline, but this is my property outline that I'm working on right now. So as you see, I've already done like personal property, real property. So right now I'm working on concurrent ownership and marital property. I skipped over estates and future interests because that's a really long and complicated section. So I just skipped that. And then I start off by just writing all the main titles. So here I have um, separate property system. And then after that, it's community. Okay, so there I have my, let me zoom in a little bit. There I have the three topics that I'll be talking about in the marital property, and I think that's all I have for this section. So yeah, you wanna start off by writing the main topics and then breaking it down from there because if you go section by section, you just might get a little confused and all blurred up. So yeah, that's how I start off my outlines and I do like Roman numerals and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys once I'm completely done with it. Okay, so I'm just about to finish the concurrent ownership and marital property. So here's a little overview of what it looks like. Of course, some people like to add more stuff. Some people make their outlines actually really short. I like to keep mine kind of in the middle. So it's a little bit later now and I made another cup of coffee. I'm using my tumbler that I talked about in my last vlog. So if you didn't see it, it's right here. So yeah, right now I'm just studying. I've done some outlining for property, but I'm gonna watch some videos to kind of go over the rules against perpetuity. And then, please ignore my dishes. I promise they're clean. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm wearing my blue light glasses that I got from Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. I, it came with another pair. So it's these and a clear frame pair. So I'll show you guys those in a minute. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend them because they do help my headaches and then my eyes get really tired by the end of the day. So these definitely help, especially since I'm doing all my homework, all my classwork and everything on my laptop now because of quarantine. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend some blue light glasses. So these are the other glasses that I was telling y'all about. Um, I chose the clear frames. Um, but they give you a lot of options. They have like a leopard print, a black, a brown. Uh, but yeah, I got the black and the clear. They're the exact same style and size. As you can tell, they do have a little bit of a yellow tint. Um, I can't see it when I'm looking, but like if I hold them up, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sure you can see it a little bit on my face right now. But when you're looking at things, you really can't notice it. So I definitely recommend them because I've noticed that they have helped my eyesight and my eyes get really tired at night. So 
these really do help and like I said I have the clear and the black ones and you can pick from the two um, so yeah if you guys want to check them out I'll link them down below it comes with a little pouch and then like the little lens cleaner and then a little blue light so you can test them out and make sure that they do work mine did work so I kept them uh, but yeah I definitely recommend some blue light glasses even if it's not these just get some because right now since we're all working on our computers and on our phones and stuff like that it's very important that you take care of your eyes so yeah um, right now I'm gonna keep working on some property So I'm making some shrimp tacos today. Um, I've already peeled and deveined the shrimp, so I have it just ready and it's thawed. So I'm gonna marinate it, so I'm just gonna put it in like a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put them in Ziploc bags and they're gonna be marinating for about like 30 minutes and then I'll put them in a sheet pan with some bell peppers in the oven, but I'm marinating them with some olive oil, garlic salt, and then some chili powder and then you can also add lemon which I probably will so I'll get the lemon in a minute but I have my oven cake heating for 350 I've already put all the bell peppers and the onion on the pan and I'm just gonna do what I did to the shrimp and put that on the bell peppers and then I'm gonna put them in the oven for like five minutes or so just to where they can get warm and then I'll put the shrimp since I got the pre-cooked shrimp it's not the raw shrimp um, I don't want to have it in the oven for too long so I'm gonna do these first so they can kind of soften up and like just get warm and then once they're in there for a while I'll put the shrimp in there and then while that's happening I'm gonna make some Spanish rice and then like warm up the corn tortilla so we can put them like into tacos but that's pretty much dinner for today um, I guess when it's done I'll show you because everything after this is just assembling it so it's just putting together the shrimp the bell peppers and the corn tortilla so I'll show you that at the end uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just stick that in the oven right now. So here are my tacos assembled and some rice. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. Today is Wednesday. I just got out of my legal writing class, which started at 8 a.m. So right now I have a little bit of a break because I have civil procedure at 10. Uh, right now it is 9.08, so I'm gonna make some really quick breakfast, have that, I think I'm just gonna make like avocado toast and some coffee, and then have that right before my civil procedure class, because I have that from 10 to 11, and then I have criminal law this afternoon. So I have a really busy day today. I'm working on civil procedure all day, just outlining, studying, and then I'm going to be working on my legal writing final opposition, it's technically done. I just need to like fix the smallest little thing. So I'm going to be doing that today as well. And then um, I think I'm just going to focus on civil procedure for today. I didn't finish property yesterday. Uh, so I might do that tonight right before I go to bed. But we'll see. So yeah, it's just going to be a very, very busy day. Um, it's definitely an early start to my day. It's kind of cloudy out. So I couldn't really go for a walk today. So um, maybe I'll go later. I think it's supposed to clear up. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, I think I'm gonna combine this vlog with yesterday's and maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, I think I'm just gonna make like a week long vlog or like just a few days in my life. So if I do that, then I hope you guys are enjoying this and sticking around. starting to settle in like I said I start my finals I don't know if I already mentioned this but I start my finals next week so I have two next week and then I believe I have two the following or three the following week and then I have like one more the week of like March 10th I'm sorry May 10th so I definitely have a lot of finals coming up and I'm getting a little bit nervous because I also have some like final projects due so I have my final opposition paper due in like two weeks and then I have a legal research project due it's just a bunch of research that I gotta do and that's due actually the last day of finals I think so which is May 13th 
So, I definitely have a lot coming up, um, mostly projects and finals, so I'm getting a little bit nervous, but that's why I'm trying to outline as early as I can for right now. Um, and then, like, in the evenings, I've been working on my projects, which is my, like I said, my paper and my research project. Hopefully, I'll be done with those this weekend, and then that way I could just fully focus on finals because final season is going to be very different this semester uh, for obvious reasons. So yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous, but I'm excited to just get the semester over with and start um, working on some other stuff. But yeah, it's, it's definitely grind time. It's time to like not slack it at all, especially because the semester was like a little bit of hard material. It's definitely bar material, so <laughs> I definitely got to make sure that I understand everything. So yeah, that's... And that's what's going on today and these next couple of days. So here are all the books that I'm using for this semester. Um, I don't know if I ever said, but I'm taking criminal law, property, the second part of civil, civil procedure. And then this is just the Barbary book that I use to like help supplement my outlines, which is what I'm doing right now. So... I'm about to have criminal law class, so that's why I have this one here. And then I just got done. I just got done with civil procedure class, so I have this one here. But today I'm dedicating to outlining for this class, so that's why I have these two out here. And then I just brought out my property book to show you uh, which one's the one that we use. So those are all the books I'm using this semester. But aside from those classes, I'm also taking legal writing two, practice foundations, and um, legal research. So. Um, I do have like five or six classes, so I do have to do readings and like stuff for that, those classes as well, but these are just the big books for legal writing. Obviously, it's just more writing and then just using Westlaw and Lexis and all that stuff, so yeah, but I know some of you wanted to see what books I've been using for the semester, so I just thought I would show you, uh, but yeah, those are my books. That, uh, the hotel guest would be an occupant. I'd have to go back and look at the so I'm actually fixing my opposition paper, which is about to be due in like a couple of weeks. I'm about to turn it in, so I'm fixing that. And then hopefully it'll be done by tonight so I can submit it already. And then I'll start outlining probably later. So I recently ordered this book and it just came in today, but I'm so excited to start reading it. Um, I probably won't start reading it until after final, so... In a couple of weeks I'll start reading it and let you know what I think about it and how it goes but yeah I just bought it off of Walmart um, and then it just shipped to my house